Miss Jess here with another story for you this week. Today, we're going to read The Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires. Magnificent. What an amazing big word. I wonder what magnificent means. Does it mean it's cool? Does it mean it's different? Let's see if it tells us. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, they relax. She makes things, she unmakes things. One day, the girl had a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. She knows just how it will look. She knows just how it will work. And she has, and all she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time, so easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. That's her friend. Next, they gather their supplies. They sit up somewhere out of the way and get to work. Look at her creating what she's thinking in her brain. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It's all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. And when she's finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. She's pretty persistent. I mean, she likes to try, even if it's not right. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. Hmm. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it a square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She adds antenna. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. Even one smells of stinky cheese. Ew. But none of them are magnificent. Boy. I think she wants it to be amazing. I think that's what magnificent means. Her hard work attracts a few admirers, but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind. Look at this above her head. She has some feelings. She starts to get mad. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels the little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work and her brain is too full of all the not right things. If only the thing would just work. Oh, she is so angry. Her nose is all scrunched and her eyes are going like this. Crunch! Oh, wow. she got her finger. The pain starts in her finger and it rushes into her brain and she explodes. It is not her finest moment. I'm no good at this. I quit. And her assistant suggests a walk. It's not much help at first, but before 
before long, she starts to feel different. See her looking at the balloons. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong, thi wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, the wheel to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. And she gets to work. She works carefully and slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, painting. Her assistant makes sure there are no distractions. These people back here are seeing her amazing things. This one's all wet. This will stop that leak. This is the perfect thing to ward off bears. The afternoon fades into evening. And finally, she's finished. She alerts her assistant. They climb up. Oh, the pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left, and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. Look how they created this scooter to ride. All of the different parts of the things that didn't work put together to make one amazing thing. Mm. I like how she was persistent, how she worked hard, even though it didn't go quite her way. You can work hard too. Remember, don't get frustrated if it doesn't work. Just try again. Have fun.